This program is a Creative Magic Network and Maura Sweeney collaboration. Welcome to Mora for You. Mora Sweeney is an author, blogger, and public speaker who always has an eye out for you and your personal happiness. Conventional and offbeat, vintage and modern, Mora weaves clever anecdotes, insightful questions, and personal stories that challenge your mindsets and enable you to live happier from the inside out. Here's Mora with today's thoughts for you. Are you a vaunter? If you're on a path to living happy from the inside out, you'll definitely want to pause and take note at today's question. Are you a vaunter? Now, maybe you've never heard of the word or maybe you haven't heard of the word in a long time, but vaunt says it all. The word vaunt or a vaunter is someone who is filled with their own sense of importance. They're generally very boastful, proud, self-occupied, and self-consumed people who also happen to be vacuous, as in lacking in substance. You might just say vain, the kinds of people who you'd look at and think, well, they make great window dressings, but there's really nothing of substance to them. So when I ask the question, are you a vaunter, I'd like to go a little bit deeply with you today. If I ask most people if they would like to see a better world, chances are that at least 95% would say absolutely. People truly do want to see a better world. And what does that mean? It means better living conditions, better societies, happier people, safer environments, um, places where people feel welcome, approved, included, valued. We all do want a better world. And yet, when it comes to being a vaunter, most people in society will become one given the chance. Let me roll this back a little bit. Have you ever found yourself at a time when you're looking at those who are bragging at some level, whether they speak of it or not? It could be those who are just so overdone and bling that they want to show you that they are worth far more than you are. It could be those that have a title and use that title to oppress people. It could be others in various positions that love to Mm, push their weight around, for lack of a better description. And we can look at people like that and think, oh my gosh, they're such poor examples of leaders. And yet at some level, because we either haven't developed ourselves or we never gave it proper thought, we think silently, well, if I could get into that place, then I'll be a vaunter too. And maybe I'd have a little fun raising my profile above other people. Well, if we truly do want to be happy from the inside out. Something on the inside of us needs to change. And what needs to change is our ability to see not only ourselves, but also to have an eyesight and a viewpoint that extends beyond ourselves. If we have not seen a better world, it's because we keep following the examples that the human race has placed in front of us. We see vaunters and we don't like the vaunters, but once we have an opportunity to vaunt ourselves, we do the same. And so the human race goes around and around and around. I want you today to be thinking in some different terms. There are a few people that I've met over the course of my life, and it doesn't really matter what level of society they've been in, but what I've determined from them or discerned is that they do have the ability to see beyond themselves, to see those around them, to see their fellow man, and when they are in positions of responsibility or positions that will impact the lives and livelihoods of others around them. They behave in responsible manners. They're not vain. They're not self-seeking. They have this capability of recognizing that others in society have their own sense of worth and value. 
And as a result of that, they assume their role in the world in such a way that gives others an opportunity to see and experience the human race acting at a higher or better, or let's say even a more noble level. So how does this all relate back to you? When I asked at the beginning, are you a vaunter? What would happen if today someone were to lift you up on high unexpectedly? Can you possibly behave the same as you are right now as you might tonight, finding out that you're suddenly made king of the universe Prince of the world, or another such title that maybe your wildest fantasies held, would you react to other people? Would you comport yourself the same way you do earlier today while listening to this podcast? Can you be the same in any situation you're in, whether you are held in high esteem among others? or you are walking along the streets like an average Joe or Jane. Those people who can do the latter, who do not move off their mark, who don't change their mental persuasion or their behavior patterns simply because they're in a position where maybe they have a little latitude and can vaunt themselves over others. That very mindset, That positioning from within is the very thing that not only helps to make us as individuals happy from the inside out, but it also places us in a position to show fellow human beings what it's like to live at a higher level without vaunting, what it is to bring the human race up to another level what it is to show a different form, a different modality, a different way of thinking and operating in a society that should be advancing beyond all that has come before. So when you're on your own today, give yourself a couple of little scenarios you could play with in your own mind. Think about those that you've looked at before that were absolutely vaunting in their behaviors and place yourself in their positions and ask yourself how you would replay the tape should you be the one in such a way that rather than vaunting yourself over others that you would use that post, that position, and that opportunity to show a different way, a higher way, and a more noble way for the human race that will be busy watching you. And secondly, after you do that, Consider starting that behavior today that you will know whether you are just the ordinary Joe or Jane or that you are pronounced king of the universe, that you are not a vaunter, but you are a person that is showing other people a happier way to live. Well, this has been more with more for you, but before we time out today, tune in and let's listen to someone else share with us what makes them happy from the inside out too. Bye-bye. Hi, this is Allison Kuro, a native Vermonter who now proudly calls New York City her home. I'm a professional organizer, speaker, and blogger, and I coach others, teaching them how to create physical, emotional, and spiritual space in their lives by conquering clutter one simple, self-love-based decision at a time. I truly feel that the real you is hidden beneath the clutter, and together we can help you choose a life filled with ease and happiness. You can find my blog, MP3s, or hire me by going to ackorganizing.com. What makes me happiest is when I find the gift in every situation, whether I think it's good or bad, because I know its purpose is to point me in the direction of my truth, which is that I am a happy, whole, and healthy being. And because when I choose to find the love and joy in a situation, I can clear out unhealthy and unwanted clutter, which allows me to create more happiness and love for myself and the planet. And that's what makes me happy. For more about Mora, visit her at moraforyou.com, where you can find videos, blogs, and her book series, The Art of Happiness. Visit moraforyou.com, where Mora is always for you.
Alrighty, thank you so much. Thank you f- so much for listening to this episode. How did you like it? How did you like it? <laughs> I just want to say a quick thank you to everybody out there. And also everybody who contributed to our Patreon page. You are really helpful to this show and we are grateful for your help. In case you're wondering, Patreon is a simple way for you to contribute to the podcast and get super cool exclusive rewards in return. I promise you will love the perks. Our Patreon page is at frederickby.com. That's Frederick with a C. Buy like bye and click Patreon in the header. The money is used to cover our production costs and enhancements. It is also used to cover our editing time and sharing to different podcast channels. You can contribute for as low as one dollar, and you can even choose your platform, either Podbean or Patreon.com. See ya next time.